This math puzzle is everywhere. Bet you can't solve it before I get to the end of this video. Find the total area of these three squares. Your time starts now. <laughs> All right, your brain probably sees three squares and immediately screams three variables, A, B, and C, right? Don't do it. Juggling three variables is a total nightmare. It's the slow way. There's a secret, a better way, a hack. Let's ditch that alphabet soup and make one variable the hero. Here's the hack. Forget A and C. The middle square, B, is our main character. Everything is about to revolve around B. So what's the side of this first square? Easy, it's the whole length B minus that little leftover chunk of two. So B minus two, same deal for the tiny square on the right. It's the whole side B minus that six over there. So B minus six. And just like that, we have one variable to rule them all. So much cleaner. Now let's use that final clue to crack this thing wide open. The puzzle tells us this entire bottom length is 22. So let's add up our new side lengths. B minus two plus B plus B minus six equals 22. B plus B plus B, that's three B. Negative two and negative six combine to negative eight. So three B minus eight equals 22. Pop that eight over to the other side. It flips positive. 22 plus eight is 30. Three B equals 30, which means B is 10. Done. And if B is 10, the rest is just a victory lap. The middle square's side is 10. So its area is 10 squared, 100. The first square was B minus two. 10 minus two is eight. Area, eight squared, 64. The tiny square was B minus six. 10 minus six is four. Area, four squared, 16. Add them up. 64 plus 16 is 80, plus the 100 gives us 180. But hey, that's just my way of solving it. I bet some of you found an even faster way. Drop your genius method in the comments. Follow for more puzzles that'll make you a math god.